More national attention today on the fallout surrounding UH head football coach Greg McMacken's use of a gay slur. It was the top story on ESPN's news magazine, Outside the Lines. One of the featured guests, former NFL player Isera Tuaolo, a Hawaii native who made national headlines himself when he came out of the closet. KITV's Dan Meisensall has that story. Was suspended Friday 30 days. This is how Hawaii was described today on ESPN's Outside the Lines. Which is now the epicenter of the latest clash between insensitivity and the macho world of football. Ezra Tuaolo, a nine year pro in the NFL, says he was upset by McMacken's remarks. Tuaolo was born in Hawaii and grew up in Waimanalo until he moved to California as a teenager. He wrote a memoir about being a gay football player called Alone in the Trenches. I go around the country and I speak on homophobia and try to talk to athletic departments. And for someone like him to, to come out and, and use that in a negative term, it is, uh, it, it's very crippling to the gay athletes that I, I deal with throughout this country. Tuaolo says words like the ones McMacken used push homosexuals further and further into the closet. It's not a joke. There are kids out there that are dying. There are kids that are out there that are killing themselves because of who they truly are. He then dropped this bombshell on national television. The funny thing about it is that he has gay athletes on his team. Tua Olo has said there are gay athletes everywhere. KITV4 sports director Robert Kekala was also on the program. <laughs> he said McMacken's apology was from the heart, and that he's genuinely a nice man. I think you judge the man by his history. I'm talking not about a football coach, but Greg McMacken as a person. Even Tuaolo said that McMacken's apology seemed sincere. Dan Meisenzall, KITV4 Island Television News.